you know, guitar is a, it's a very kind of tactile, very tangible thing, like it's there, it's very easy to do things. Like I've never really met anyone that hasn't tried a guitar, but I've met lots of people who've never tried an oboe or a bassoon, you know what I mean? It's not, an, these are not accessible instruments. You have to have some access to them when you're young, maybe someone in the family that's musical. Like how do you start playing the tuba? Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, I mean, there's, a, there's another answer to that, but anyway. Guitar is... I want to hear that answer. <laughs> no, but guitar's like... I like tuba. But anyway, guitar's... Not that much. But like guitar, guitar, guitar's like... It's a very easy instrument to pick up and make a sound on. You know, like instantly. And most people can play a chord or they've tried the guitar, right? Um, which I think is a, is a beautiful thing because then it's a really easy instrument to then show people, yeah, but look, and then you can add and you can add and you can add. So like you can do that very naturally. Very naturally you can open up people's way of thinking about music almost instantaneously using the guitar because no one has this like, oh well I think, you know, a cello is for like, not for me because it's in the concert hall so I don't, I don't think about it. Or like, oh you're a soprano, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, you don't just sing, you're a soprano. Yeah. There's all this snobbishness, you know, which frightens people, it naturally frightens people, but it doesn't frighten them about the guitar. They just to they, 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 they totally get involved in it and they love it. So. You know, but often classical guitarists, like, and, and because of this kind of like, everybody can have a go at the guitar, there is that nerd dumb, do you know what I mean? There is that like thing of like, you know, people are obsessed with technique. And you know, if you're obsessed with technique, whatever, that's good, but it's the same way as people like lining up their cars in an order. And I did that when I was a boy, do you know what I mean? Or, or Lego, do you know what I mean? Or like a train set, you know? We all love that, like, we've all got that, we're all somewhat, sort of artistic or we have this we have some way of ordering things in our head we like technique we like repetition we like to deliver things in a, in, a, in, a, in a way that's repetitive all human beings are like that we like the same cup of coffee we like the same newspaper we like all these things that make us feel comfortable right i don't think interest in art comes from that place i really don't i really i don't think that if someone plays the same way again and again and again flawlessly that they're going to deliver something to me that's ever been outside of their comfort zone because they never act outside their comfort zone. They always try to achieve the same. And we're all a bit like that, you know? Oh, I, I don't normally have that many cups of coffee. You know what I mean? Or, oh, I don't normally do that. Do you know what I mean? We all like this, you know? Um, so, again, if young people for me, you have to care about technique, of course, because if you don't care about technique, at some point there'll be a repertoire that's out with your level of ability. And I think everybody has that to a certain extent. There's repertoire that I can't play, like, do you know what I mean? Because my technique won't deliver it. Or if I needed to learn that repertoire, I would need to sit and think, okay, the timeline for me getting that ready for a concert is going to be a lot longer than other repertoire, which I can get much faster. You know, it's just natural. Um, but artistically, if I have an idea, a creative idea, or if I have a thought about something, I, I, personally, that's what I do first. I try and get to that. I try and realise back from that, you know. So rather than like working away all the time, building my Lego house, you know, or like lining everything up in a row, I have this idea that's like really strong, and it's a bit like the atmosphere of some of these videos that you're creating for the, for these young talented people. You have this feeling, this narrative, this shape. How's it going to be visualised? How's it going to feel? And you can kind of work back from that. So to be honest, the technique is just all little steps that just make that become real. But it's, th that isn't first and foremost. That's not the thing that you see first. I mean, for me, that's, I, I switch off from that right away. You know, as soon as something doesn't engage me on an emotional level, like, I have no time for it. Because we only get one shot at this, you know? We only get one go at this whole deal of whatever it is we're doing here, you know? So why, why spend our time putting everything in a little box, I find that very mind-numbing.